Hi guys, in previous video we have seen some of the commands from this toolbar like pad, pocket, shaft, groove, hole, rib and slot. Now in this video we will see these two commands stiffeners and solid combine. So let's start. To minimize the time of modeling you can quickly go in pad command, select the sketch, select your plane and start drawing your section profile okay. exit the workbench say ok now stiffness are actually suppose this is one sheet metal and this is another they are welding on this joint uh, when these two sheets are at right angle we need to support them by using stiffeners to create your stiffener you can quickly go in the stiffener command then say there is a sketcher from here or you can draw a profile in another plane So we will go step by step, we will first draw our profile, Let's exit the workbench. Now when you select the stiffener command it will ask you to select your profile. Or we will select this line as our profile. This is the thickness of our stiffener. When you add 10 mm it will give thickness of 5 mm on this side and 5 mm of that side. We will say ok. This is how you can use the stiffener command. If you see in the stiffener command, you can uh, there is also an option for neutral fiber. If you deselect this neutral fiber, then you can see that if you hide your sketch, then you can see that whatever thickness we have given is added one side of that profile only. You can change the direction from here or you can just if you want it in the middle you can just keep this neutral fiber on and say ok now we'll see the next command that is the solid combine solid combine is the command actually used to combine two different solids as the name suggests it is the combination of two different solids uh, first we'll draw a profile on this plane exit the workbench run another profile on other plane this is circle exit the workbench to make it more clear we will just dimension this profile if you want to keep this command on for uh, dimensioning then you can simply double click this dimension in prof dimension your profile sorry
let's edit the diameter of this circle okay now let's execute the command go in the solid command it will ask you to select two profiles so we will select two profiles and I say ok if you observe this you can see that it has extended this circle by infinity in its normal direction and extended this square in its normal direction by infinity and it has created the combination of these two extensions so let's say ok If you alter our second section, so exit. If you select solid combine, select these two sections, and you can see that it has created a combination of these two sections. The rectangle has extended in this direction by infinity and this profile is extended in its normal direction by infinity and created a combination of these two solids. So okay. If you don't want to extend the profile in its normal direction then you can simply create new direction here. Let me show you. If you deselect this, it will ask you to create uh, to select your di direction. So first, uh, first profile is this. So we will define the direction for it. You can create the line in other sketch also, or you can just simply right click here, go in create line, select the center. create another point let's say 50 tab 0 tab 20 this is the direction of a first profile you can give direction to your second profile also we'll keep this normal to profile say ok This is how you can use the solid combine command. Thank you guys. If you like this video and want to be updated for my upcoming videos, then you can simply subscribe my channel.